So now the time for the phylum Annelida. They may be aquatic, marine and freshwater, or terrestrial, free living, and sometimes parasitic. Sometimes they exhibit organ system level of organ body organization and bilateral symmetry. They are triploblastic, metamerically segmented, and coelomate animals. Complete coelom have been found. Their body surface is distinctly marked out into segments or metamers. Latin annulus means little ring. That's why the name is annelida, and hence the phylum is named annelida. They possesses longitudinal and circular muscles, which help in locomotion. Longitudinal and circular muscles. Aquatic annelids like Nereus possesses lateral appendages called parapodia, which help in swimming. A closed circulatory system is present. Closed circulatory system is present. Nephridia, single nephridium. हेल्प इन ऑस्मो रेगुलेशन एंड एक्सक्रीशन पिछले वाले में क्या था प्लेटेल में इसमें फ्लेम सेल्स ठीक चलो नेफ्रीडिया नेफ्रीडियम हेल्प इन ऑस्मो रेगुलेशन एंड एक्सक्रीशन न्यूरल सिस्टम कंसिस्ट ऑफ पेयर्ड गैंगलिया सिंगल गैंगलियन कनेक्टेड बाय लिटरल नर्व्स टू डबल वेंट्रल नर्व कॉर्ड्स सो न्यूरल सिस्टम कंजिस्ट ऑफ पेयर्ड गैंगलिया कनेक्टेड बाय लिटरल नर्व्स टू अ डबल वेंट्रल नर्व कॉर्ड सो वेंट्रल सो नर्व कॉर्ड इज वेंट्रल डबल एंड देर आर गैंगलिया विच इज विच आर कनेक्टेड बाय लिटरल नर्व्स साइड में नर्व्स होती है वो गैंगलिया से कनेक्टेड होती हैं न्यूरिस एन एक्वेटिक फॉर्म इज डाइशियस बट अर्थ वॉर्म्स एंड लीचिज आर मोनोइशियस रिप्रोडक्शन इज सेक्शुअल सो दर इज अ डिस्टिंगशन सम आर डाइशियस सम आर मोनोइशियस न्यूरिस एक्वेटिक फॉर्म इज डाइशियस बट अर्थ वॉर्म्स एंड लीचिज आर मोनोइशियस सो प्लीज रिमेंबर अर्थ वॉर्म एंड लीचिज आर मोनोइशियस डायग्राम ऑल्सो गिवन 4.11 पॉइंट वन वन एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एनलिडा नीरिस दिस इज द नीरिस यू कैन सी द पैरापोडिया एंड द हिरोडिन एरिया द ब्लड सकिंग लीच सो एग्जाम्पल्स आर नीरिस फेरेटिमा अर्थवॉम एंड हिरोडिन एरिया ब्लड सकिंग लीच नीरिस एक्वेटिक फेरेटिमा अर्थवॉम एंड हिरोडिन एरिया ब्लड सकिंग लीच सो नीरिस फेरेटिमा अर्थवॉम एंड हिरोडिन एरिया ब्लड सकिंग लीच सो नीरिस फेरेटिमा हिरोडिन एरिया नीरिस फेरेटिमा हिरोडिन एरिया Uh, now the phylum Arthropoda. This is the largest phylum of Animalia, which includes insects. Over two thirds of all the named species on Earth are arthropods. They have organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, segmented, and coelomate animals. The body of arthropods is covered by chitinous exoskeleton. The body consists of head, thorax, and abdomen. They have jointed appendages. Arthros means joint and poda means appendages. Hence the name arthropoda. Respiratory organs are gills, book gills, book lungs, or tracheal system. Circulatory system is of open type. Sensory organs like antenna, eyes, compound, and simple statocysts or balance organs are present. Excretion takes place through malpighian tubules. They are mostly dioecious. Fertilization is usually internal. They are mostly oviparous. development may be direct or indirect so many uh, lo a lot of varieties there in the phylum arthropoda because it is a very uh, big and large phylum now some examples obviously examples are a lot there but examples economically important insects apis honeybee bombyx silkworm lacifer lac insect so economically important is me apis honeybee bombyx silkworm lacifer lac insect apis honeybee bombyx silkworm lacifer lac insect apis honeybee bombyx silkworm lacifer lac insect vectors anopheles culex and aedes these are mosquitoes anopheles culex aedes mosquitoes gregarious pest locusta and the locust living fossil limulus king crab the so living fossil limulus king crab gregarious pest locust uh, living fossil means all the relatives are extinct and the sole survival is uh, still living in the world in the diagram portion figure 1 uh, 4.12 arthropoda examples locust first one is the locust second is the butterfly everyone knows third is the scorpion and last is the prawn so locust butterfly scorpion prawn uh, now the phylum mollusca uh, this is the second largest animal phylum mollusks are terrestrial or aquatic marine and freshwater both having an organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical 
ट्रिप्लोब्लास्टिक एंड सिलोमेट एनिमल्स बॉडी इज कवर्ड बाय कैलकेरियस शेल एंड इज अनसेगमेंटेड विद अ डिस्टिंक्ट हैड मस्कुलर फुट एंड विसरल हम्प हैड मस्कुलर फुट एंड विसरल हम्प अ सॉफ्ट एंड स्पंजी लेयर ऑफ स्किन फॉर्म्स अ मैंटल ओवर द विसरल हम्प सो विसरल हम्प के ऊपर एक मैंटल बनेगा द स्पेस बिटवीन हम्प एंड द मैंटल इज कॉल्ड द मैंटल कैविटी इन विच द फैदर लाइक गिल्स आर प्रजेंट दे हैव रेस्पिरेटरी एंड एक्सक्यूटरी फंक्शंस मीन्स द फैदर लाइक स्ट्रक्चर द एंटीरियर हेड रीजन हैज सेंसरी टेंटिकल्स माउथ कंटेन्स फाइल लाइक रेस्पिंग ऑर्गन ऑर्गन फॉर फीडिंग कॉल्ड रेडुला दे आर यूजली डाइशियस एंड ओवी पेरस विद इनडायरेक्ट डेवलपमेंट नो एग्जाम्पल्स आर मैनी पायल एपेसनेल पिंकटीडा पर्लॉस्ट सेपिया कटल फिश लॉलीगो स्क्विड ऑक्टोपस डेवल फिश एप्लीशिया सी हेयर डेंटेलियम टस्क शेल किटोप्लूरा काइटन पायला एपेसनेल पिंकटीडा पर्लॉस्ट सेपिया कटल फिश लॉलीगो स्क्विड ऑक्टोपस डेवल फिश एप्लीशिया सी हेयर डेंटेलियम टस्क शेल किटोप्लूरा काइटन and also the diagram part this is the pila apple and this is the octopus devil fish figure 4.13 now the phylum echinodermata these animals have an endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles and hence the name echinodermata spiny bodied figure 4.14 so we can see here clearly that spiny bodied animals are these all are marine with organ system level of organization The adult echinoderms are readily symmetrical, but larvae are bilaterally symmetrical. So this is a very, uh, there is again a distinctive point. Uh, they are triploblastic and coelomate animals. Digestive system is complete with mouth on the lower ventral side and the anus on the upper dorsal side. The most distinctive feature of echinoderms is the presence of vertebral vascular system, which helps in locomotion, capture and transport of food and respiration. an excretory system is absent sexes are separate reproduction is sexual fertilization is usually external development is indirect with free swimming larva example asterias starfish echinus sea urchin antedon sea lily cucumeria sea cucumber ophiura brittle star again asterias starfish echinus sea urchin antedon sea lily cucumeria sea cucumber ophiura brittle star once more Asterias, starfish, Echinus, sea urchin, Antedon, sea lily, Cucumeria, sea cucumber, Ophiura, brittle star. In the figure 4.14, example shown are Asterias, starfish, Ophiura, brittle star. Asterias, starfish, Ophiura, brittle star. So now the phylum Hemichordata. Hemichordata was earlier considered as a subphylum under the phylum Chordata. but now it is placed as a separate phylum under the non chordata so this phylum consists of a small group of worm like marine animals with organ system level of organization they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic coelomate animals the body is cylindrical and is composed of a an anterior proboscis a collar and a long trunk circulatory system is of open type respiration takes place through gills excretory organ is proboscis gland sexes are separate fertilization is external development is indirect examples balanoglossus and secoglossus balanoglossus secoglossus balanoglossus secoglossus so this is the balanoglossus you can see the collar the proboscis long trunk uh, now the phylum chordata animals belonging to phylum chordata are fundamentally characterized by the presence of a notochord so means basically first thing a notochord a dorsal hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits so notochord dorsal hollow nerve cord and paired pharyngeal gill slits these are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic coelomate with organ system level of organization they possesses a post anal tail and a closed circulatory system close circulatory so here is the basic diagram of chordate characteristics obviously you can see the gill slits the post anal tail means after the anus there is a tail but the main thing is that there is a nerve cord which will form the brain and the spinal cord and it is of ectodermal origin and here is the notochord of mesodermal origin 
which it modifies to form the vertebral column. Table 4.1 presents a comparison of cell and features of the chordates and the non chordates. So, very important table. Comparison of chordates and non chordates. The chordates, notochord present, non chordates, notochord absent. Here, central nervous system is dorsal, hollow, and single. And here, central nervous system is ventral, solid, and double. Okay. Pharynx perforated by gill slits. The pharynx is the region. Pharynx perforated by gill slits. Gill slits are absent. Heart is ventral, heart is dorsal if present. Post anal tail is present. Here, no one will Post anal tail is absent. Now, phylum core data, the last phylum of animalia, is divided into three subphyla: urochord data or tunicata first, second, cephalochord data, and last one is the vertebrata. So, urochord data or tunicata first, cephalochord data second. And vertebrata third. So now subphyla urochordata and cephalochordata are often referred to as protochords. Means first urochordata and second one cephalochordata are known as protochords. Clear? And the and are exclusively marine. And are exclusively marine. One more thing was exclusively marine echinoderms, obviously. In urochordata, notochord is present only in the larval tail. Urochordata. Uh, notochord present only in the larval tail, while in the cephalochord data it extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout their life. So, urochord data, notochord is present only in the larval tail, while in cephalochord data it extends from head to tail region and is persistent throughout their life. Examples, urochord data, acidia, salpa, doliolum, urochord data, acidia, salpa, doliolum, cephalochord data, uh, branchiostoma, Amphioxus or lancelet. Branchiostoma, Amphioxus or lancelet. Now, after urochordata and cephalochordata, the members of subphylum vertebrata possesses notochord during the embryonic period. The notochord is replaced by a cartilaginous or bony vertebral column in the adult. Thus, all vertebrates are chordates, but all chordates are not vertebrates. Besides the basic chordate characters, vertebrates have a ventral muscular heart with two, three or four chambers, kidneys for excretion and osmoregulation and paired appendages which may be fins or limbs. And also here the diagram of SCDI is shown. Uh, this is the division of the vertebrata. Means the phylum chordata is divided into three subphyla. First is the urochordata or tunicata, second is the cephalochordata and third is the vertebrata. So, urochordata, tunicata, cephalochordata is the first two phyla, this is exclusively marine, but vertebrata is the first two phyla, which is the first two phyla, which is the first two phyla, which is the first two So, see, vertebrata is the first two phyla. So, vertebrata division is the agnetha and granthostomata. So, vertebrata division is agnetha, which is the jaw, hongi ni. अब फिर ग्रैंथोस्टोमेटा सब जिनके अंदर जॉज मिलते हैं सो वर्टेब्रेटा का डिवीजन हुआ याद है वर्टेब्रेटा जो है वो खुद तो सब फाइलम है और उसकी डिवीजन हुई दो एगनेथा एंड ग्रैंथोस्टोमेटा तो याद रखना एगनेथा एंड ग्रैंथोस्टोमेटा आर द डिवीजन ऑफ वर्टेब्रेटा नाउ एगनेथा हैव ओनली वन क्लास साइक्लोस्टोमेटा ठीक है ये तो देखो ग्रैंथोस्टोमेटा है पर यहां पे क्या आ गया साइक्लोस्टोमेटा क्लास तो ग्रैंथोस्टोमेटा इज अ डिवीजन बट साइक्लोस्टोमेटा इज अ क्लास नाउ ग्रैंथोस्टोमेटा जो डिवीजन थी उसकी सुपर क्लासेस हैं पाइसिस एंड टेट्रापोडा पाइसिस एंड टेट्रापोडा सो पाइसिस एंड टेट्रापोडा नॉट द क्लास बट द सुपर क्लास सो पाइसिस एंड टेट्रापोडा आर द सुपर क्लास नाउ दिस सुपर क्लास पाइसिस हैव टू क्लासेस कॉन्ड्रिक्थीज एंड ऑस्टिक्थीज हैव टू क्लासेस कॉन्ड्रिक्थीज एंड ऑस्टिक्थीज एंड दिस टेट्रापोडा सुपर क्लास हैव फोर क्लासेस आराम एम्फीबिया रेप्टीलिया एव्स एंड मेल आराम बोलते हैं इसको Amphibia, Reptilia, Apes and Mammals. Now first we are starting with this, the class Cyclostomata. So this is an example of a jawless vertebrate which is having vertebral column but not even having, having a jaw. So this is the Petromyzon uh, example. You can even see the body differences. Gills lids are more uh, fins side mein nahi hai na. Body ke uspe, uh, jo ventral side hoti hai, si hai? Uspe hai. So, all living members of class Cyclostomata are ectoparasites. 
ऑन सम फिश मतलब किसी फिश पे चिपक जाएंगे दे हैव एन एलोंगेटेड बॉडी बियरिंग सिक्स टू फिफ्टीन पेयर्स ऑफ गिल्सलेट्स फॉर रेस्पिरेशन एलोंगेटेड बॉडी सिक्स टू फिफ्टीन पेयर्स ऑफ गिल्सलेट्स फॉर रेस्पिरेशन साइक्लास्टोम्स हैव अ सकिंग एंड सर्कुलर माउथ विदाउट जॉज द बॉडी इज डिवॉइड ऑफ स्केल्स एंड पेयर्ड फिंस क्रेनियम एंड वर्टेबल कॉलम आर कार्टिलेजिनस सर्कुलेशन इज ऑफ क्लोज टाइप साइक्लोस्टोम्स आर मरीन बट माइग्रेट फॉर स्पॉनिंग टू फ्रेश वाटर आफ्टर स्पॉनिंग विद इन अ फ्यू डेज दे डाई दे लार वी आफ्टर मेटामोरफोस रिटर्न टू द ओशियन एग्जाम्पल्स पेट्रोमाइजोन लैम्परे मेगजीन हैक फिश 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 डायग्राम पेट्रोमाइजोन नाउ द क्लास कॉन्ड्रिक थीज दिस इज द This is under the superclass species of the Granthostomata division. So, they are marine animals with streamlined bodies and have cartilaginous endoskeleton. Mouth is located ventrally. Notochord is persistent throughout the life. Gills slits are separate and without operculum. Gill cover. The skin is tough, containing minute placoid scales. Teeth are modified. placoid scales which are backwardly directed their jaws are very powerful these animals are predaceous due to the absence of air bladder they have to swim continuously uh, constantly to avoid sinking heart is of two chambered one auricular and one ventricle some of them have electrical uh, some of them have electric organs torpedo and some possesses poison sting trigon they are cold blooded poikilotherms animals that is they lack the capacity to regulate their body temperature sexes are separate in males pelvic fins bear claspers they have an internal fertilization and many of them are viviparous directly birth example scorodon dogfish prestis sawfish carcharodon great white shark trigon stingray fir se scorodon dogfish prestis sawfish carcharodon great white shark trigon stingray Scorodon, dogfish, pristis, sawfish, carcharodon, great white shark, trigon, stingray. So here is the diagram of. So the diagram scorodon, dogfish, and pristis, sawfish. Scorodon, dogfish, pristis, sawfish. Is this the same cut? Have any? So now the class Ostichthys. It includes both marine and freshwater fishes with bony endoskeleton. The body is streamlined. Mouth is mostly terminal. They have four pairs of gills, which are covered by an operculum. So four pair of gills on each side. Skin is covered with cycloidal tenoid scales. Air bladder is present, which regulates the buoyancy. Heart is of two chambered, one auricular and one ventricle. They are cold-blooded animals. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is usually external. They are mostly oviparous, and development is direct. Example: Marine exocetus, flying fish, hippocampus, seahorse. Fresh water, labia rohu, catla catla, clarius mager, aquarium, betta, fighting fish, terophyllum, angelfish. So exocetus, flying fish, hippocampus, sea horse. ये तो क्या marine? Fresh water, labia rohu, catla catla, clarius mager, aquarium, betta, fighting fish, terophyllum, angelfish. So in the diagram, this is the diagram of a hippocampus, marine. And this is catla catla, which is fresh water. now the class amphibia after the pisces superclass which have the class chondrichthys and ostichthys now it's the time for the superclass tetrapoda first class amphibia so as the name indicates greek amphi means dual bias means life so amphibians can live in aquatic as well as terrestrial habitats most of them have two pairs of limbs body is divided into head and trunk tail may be present in some the amphibian skin is moist without scales the eyes have eyelids a tympanum represents the ear alimentary canal urinary and reproductive tracts open into common chamber called cloaca which opens to the exterior respiration is by gills lungs and through skin the heart is three chambered two auricles and one ventricle these are cold blooded animals sexes are separate fertilization is external they are oviparous and development is indirect example bufo todd rana frog hyla tree frog salamander salamander ichthyophis limbless amphibia ichthyophis limbless amphibia 
सो ब्यूफो टॉड राना फ्रॉग हाइला ट्री फ्रॉग सेलेमेंटो सेलेमेंडो इस टाइफिस लिमलेस एम्फीबिया डायग्राम शोन इज ऑफ सेलेमेंट एंड राना सेलेमेंट राना नाउ द क्लास रेप्टीलिया द क्लास नेम रेफर्स टू देयर क्रीपिंग और क्रॉलिंग मोड ऑफ लोकोमोशन लेटिन रेपेरे और रेप्टम मीन्स टू क्रीप और क्रॉल दे आर मोस्टली टेरेस्ट्रियल एनिमल्स एंड देयर बॉडी इज कवर्ड बाई ड्राई एंड कॉर्निफाइड स्किन एपिडर्मिस एपिडर्मल स्केल्स और स्क्यूट्स एपिडर्मल स्केल्स और स्क्यूट्स दे डो नॉट हैव एन एक्सटर्नल ईयर ओपनिंग टिम्पेनम रिप्रेजेंट्स द ईयर टिम्पेनम रिप्रेजेंट्स द ईयर लिम्स वेन प्रेजेंट आर टू पेयर्स हर्ट इज यूजली थ्री चेंबर्ड बट फोर चेंबर्ड इन क्रोकोडाइल्स रेप्टाइल्स आर पॉइक्यूरोथर्म्स मीन्स कोल्ड ब्लडेड स्नेक्स एंड लेजर्ड्स शेड देयर स्केल्स एज स्किन कास्ट शेड देयर स्नेक्स एंड लेजर्ड शेड देयर स्केल्स एज स्किन कास्ट सेक्स आर सेपरेट फर्टिलाइजेशन इज इंटरनल दे आर ओवी पेरस एंड डेवलपमेंट इज डायरेक्ट सो लॉर्ड ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स आर हेयर Kilon turtle Tisturo tortoise chameleon tree lizard Kelotis garden lizard crocodilus crocodile alligator alligator hemidactylus wall lizard poison snakes me naja cobra bangaras crate vipera viper so kilon turtle tisturo tortoise chameleon tree lizard kelotis garden lizard crocodilus crocodile alligator alligator hemidactylus wall lizard poison snakes me naja cobra bangaras crate vipera viper The diagram of examples showing chameleon, crocodilus, kilon, and naja. Uh, now the class aves. So the characteristic feature of aves birds are the presence of feathers, and most of them can fly except the flightless birds. Example ostrich. They possesses beak. The fore limbs are modified into wings. The hind limbs generally have scales and are modified for walking, swimming, or clasping the tree branches. Skin is dry without glands except the oily gland at the base of the tail. Endoskeleton is fully ossified, bony, and the long bones are hollow with air cavities. Pneumatic. The digestive tract of birds have an additional chamber, the crop and the gizzard. Have additional chambers, the crop and the gizzard. Heart is completely four chambered. They are warm-blooded homotherms animals that is they are able to maintain the constant body temperature. respiration is by lungs air sacs connected to lungs supplement respiration sacs are separate fertilization is internal they are oviparous and development is direct so examples are corvus crow columba pigeon psittacula parrot struthio ostrich pavo peacock aptonodites penguin neophron vulture so corvus crow columba pigeon psittacula parrot struthio ostrich pavo peacock Aptonites, penguin, neophron, vulture. Some examples like first is a neophron, vulture. Second is a struthio, ostrich. Third is a cetacula, parrot. And last one is the pavo, the peacock. Now uh, the last class, mammalia. They are found in a variety of habitats: polarized caps, deserts, mountains, forests, grasslands, and dark caves. Variety of habitats. Some of them have adapted to fly or live in water. The most unique mammalian characteristic is the presence of milk producing glands called as mammary glands by which the young ones are nourished they have two pairs of limbs adapted for walking running climbing burrowing swimming or flying the skin of mammals is unique in possessing hair external ears or pinnae are present different types of teeth are present in the jaw heart is four chambered they are homotherms respiration is by lungs sexes are separate and fertilization is the internal they are viviparous with a very few exceptions and development is indirect so exception is the ornithorhynchus platypus ornithorhynchus so examples oviparous uh, only one example present in ncert ornithorhynchus platypus ornithorhynchus platypus ornithorhynchus platypus viviparous Macropus kangaroo, teropus flying fox, camelus camel, macaca monkey, ratus rat, canis dog, felis cat, elephus elephant, equus horse, delphinus common dolphin, balaptera blue whale, panthera tigris tiger, panthera leo lion, oviparous ornithorhynchus, platypus, 
viviparous, uh, macropus, kangaroo, pteropus, flying fish, camelus, camel, macaca, monkey, ratus, rat, canis, dog, phallus, cat, elephus, elephant, equus, horse, delphinus, common dolphin, meleptera, blue whale, panthera tigris, tiger, panthera leo, lion. So here is the salient features of the different phyla of animal kingdom is shown. This is a very long table, but it is representing everything of the animal kingdom in a comparative way.